What's going on everyone? Crypto enthusiasts, Bitcoin maximalists, Bitcoin naysayers, or maybe even the bit curious. Welcome to another edition of Adventures in Bitcoin with third, fourth, or maybe even fifth favorite crypto YouTuber. And hopefully we're moving up in your hearts. So unless you're living under a rock and you're not paying attention to Bitcoin, which I assume you are if you're watching this right now, Bitcoin fell about somewhere between 15 and 18 percent in the past two days and by now the common consensus is that this was uh, the result of manipulation whale manipulation which uh, typically is what happens in these scenarios but in this case most people believe it was attributed to one whale in particular uh, this is why it's good to follow whale alert on twitter where these guys will alert you and let you know when a significant amount of crypto is being moved. And uh, we'll take you through this real quick so you kind of get the idea. Uh, when, like right here, this, this one here, somebody moved 14,999 ETH. It got transferred from a well-known exchange, Bit, Bitthumb, to an unknown wallet. And you can trace the transaction and take a look at it and see the details of the transaction and you can also go to the guy's wallet guy or girl and see what's what's been going on seeing funds move left and right so if we back up a little bit you'll see like some of these will have these police sirens on them and usually they'll get a police siren if the transferred amount was uh, in USD value at least double digit million so if it's above $10 million transferred uh, to or from a wallet, it uh, gets flagged with this, uh, with this police siren. And if we look way down here, the really big ones, the ones that are triple digit million dollar transfers, uh, get multiple uh, police sirens here. So these are the ones you really want to watch out for. And actually these will give me alert on my phone when they pop up. And what typically happens is it's kind of a leading indicator whenever you see a significant amount like this amount of Bitcoin being transferred to an exchange it usually means it's gonna get dumped and when it gets dumped the price is gonna fall this one we're looking at in particular this is going from one wallet to another wallet so this wouldn't be a good scenario but if we go back because this started the third so if we go back over 24 hours we find this particular whale who transferred 25,160 Bitcoin, which was equivalent at the time to 213 million US dollars, million plus, got transferred from his wallet to Coinbase with the expectation that it was gonna get sold there. Now that happened on the third, right? Which would put us right here starting this candle now everyone sees this so sometimes it's a it's kind of a, a self-fulfilling prophecy because if you look at this transaction we're gonna we're gonna go right to the tweet itself and look at some of the comments right so and some of them are pretty funny all the memes come in like uh, deep pockets crash incoming oh nothing bad will happen Oh shit, here we go again. Some of these are pretty funny. This Homer Simpson, the end is near. That wallet is from 2016. Nice return on investment, I guess. XRP pump soon. So he, he's speculating that that's going to be sold for Ripple. BitMEX exiting tonight during maintenance. Jesus, when 2K? Here's one that says it's very clear. It's very clear he or she wants to load Bitcoin at 1.2K. So they're trying to crash the price, is what they're trying to say. And he shows a little Fibonacci ABC correction, bringing it down to about $1,200. So if we go back to uh, go back to whale alert on Twitter 
if we go up a few hours later, we see that there was another significant transfer of 14,000 Bitcoin, $112 million from Coinbase to an unknown wallet. So this person, you know, assuming it's the same person, because I don't think it's the same address. If we go in here and look at this address here, There's not a heck of a lot going on with this address. So this is like a new wallet that received this Bitcoin. So it's safe to say, and here's another one here, Coinbase to unknown wallet, 11,000 Bitcoin or $88 million. So it's safe to say that this transaction here that happened on the third for 25,000 Bitcoin sent to Coinbase, sent everyone in a stir and that started to sell off which we see here and we caught on some resistance whether you should buy this dip or not i don't know it's tuesday it's still the middle of the week like i said in my last video bitcoin tends to stable out or it'll dip and stable out somewhere towards the middle of the week typically and for me that's when i'm buying so i'm gonna wait till tomorrow see what happens if it dips more, great, I'll buy it at a better price. I feel Wednesdays is a great day, Wednesday, Thursday, sometimes depending on what I think the price is gonna do. A lot of experts, a lot of crypto experts are all kind of on the same page, most of them are on the same page, that this is just a temporary correction and once this shakes out, it'll return to its trend. Uh, if anything, I drew this trend line here, not that Bitcoin respects any kind of technical analysis. But I hit this these two bottoms here, and I would think that uh, it will eventually catch up to this line. It's either going to hit this line, or you know sooner, or it's going to uh, eventually run into it. So now it's time for a new segment that I'm going to call bullshit or not bullshit. This is where we take a look at some of the news articles in Trade View and see if it's bullshit or not bullshit. Because what I found lately is a lot of these articles are either flat out fake news or just poorly researched. So you really have to be careful. You can't trust every single article. Let's start with this one. After Microsoft and Apple launches crypto developer tools, mass adoption imminent? I don't know, let's see. Yesterday, Cupertino-based tech giant Apple held its annual Worldwide Developers Conference where it gave an update on its product lineup, blah, 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 blah. One such crypto-focused dev kit dubbed CryptoKit was debuted by Apple, first major sign of the company supporting the budding technology. With tech powerhouses like Samsung, Microsoft, Facebook, and now Apple all supporting crypto in some capacity, is this a sign that mass adoption is closer than we think? I'm going to say Apple entering the crypto space can only be a good thing. That along with Samsung and Facebook all talking about creating crypto assets. I'm going to go ahead and say this is not bullshit. Here's one. Warren Buffett has been misled by the media about crypto claims Tron's Justin Sun. In case you didn't know, Justin Sun, who's the CEO of Tron, recently won an auction by donating, I don't know how many millions of dollars to one of Warren Buffett's charities. And for that, you get to win a steak dinner with him or something, and you get to sit down and pick his brain. Warren Buffett is, uh, he's a financial dinosaur that a lot of people, a lot of his fanboys just respect everything that he says. Uh, he's been very vocal about being against cryptocurrency in the past. So let's see what this article says, and let's see if it's bullshit or not bullshit. Proponents of the cryptocurrency space have worked with the aim of integrating digital assets with the mainstream financial ecosystem. Justin Sun, chief executive officer of Tron Foundation, was in the news recently after he made the winning bid to have lunch with Warren Buffett, a Berkshire Hathaway visionary founder. In the latest episode of Squawk Box, Sun elucidated on the upcoming events that what he aimed to achieve with the meeting. Sun claimed that there 
were three reasons as to why he bid for the event, and most of them were skewed towards pushing crypto into the mainstream. After it announced that Sun was a winner, he had given this statement saying, I'm a long-term believer and certainly a big fan of Buffett and his long-term value investing strategy. As some of you might know, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway has said publicly he sees no unique value in Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency. Yet he has pointed to the potential in blockchain, the underlying technology behind all cryptocurrency. Sun was also asked if Buffett's previous comments like Bitcoin can be compared to rat poison would hinder his efforts to promote crypto. However, the Tron exec was optimistic that Buffett did not have the right force to know about the technology that he was swayed by the media, he added. He added, Tron wants to convey the progress we made over the past 10 years and the fact that Facebook and JP Morgan are also getting into the field is positive news. Warren Buffett, Bitcoin, Tron, Justin Sun, I'm going to have to call this bullshit. <laughs> Moving on to long Bitcoin, short Deutsche Bank has been the best trade in 2019. Let's see what this is about. Buying Bitcoin while shorting the stocks of multinational investment bank Deutsche Bank in 2019 might be the best trade you could have done in 2019. Long Bitcoin, short the bankers, has turned into somewhat a popular catchphrase commonly used by Morgan Creek Capital's Anthony Pomp Pompolano. Looking at hard data and crunching the numbers, however, tells us that this might be a lot more than just a concept. It can actually be a rather profitable trade, at least so far in 2019. He goes on to say the trade long Bitcoin and short Deutsche bankers is up 139% since September 2018 goes on to say Bitcoin outperforming the S&P even. As it turns out, not only is this position more profitable, but it's also less risky. The max yearly loss of the Bitcoin and cash position stands at 5%, while the S&P recorded a loss of 6% in 2018. This is really interesting too, which I happen to agree with. Of course, it's also worth noting that trading Bitcoin and hodling which means holding on to dear life to your precious Bitcoin, are two completely different things. The cryptocurrency historically generates its yearly gains 10 days, according to Fundrat's chief analyst, Tom Lee. This suggests that the chances of you missing out on them if you are trading regularly are substantially higher than if you're just simply holding Bitcoin for the long term. How about that? I'm going to have to go ahead and say, that this article, not bullshit. Let me know, what articles do you think were bullshit? Was, was I wrong on any of them? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Also, make sure you're letting me know what cryptos you want me to take a look at. This way I can queue it up, get it ready for the next video. So until next time, stay profitable, my friends, and we'll see you next time.